Welcome to Jaymore's Weekend Agenda on Facebook Live. Tell us about your weekend plans in the comments field below. Like, share, and follow at hashtag Jaymore Weekend. I am Amanda, and I've got two very special guests with me today. Hello, guys. Hello. I've got Carlos Uyoa. Uyoa? Uyoa. Sorry. I wanted to make sure I got it right, and I still stumbled. Uh, owner of Mez Mezcal Mexican Restaurant. Correct. And Felicity Carmody mm -hmm. of the Suburban Club. Yep. Welcome, both of you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for coming in. Um, you, there's some d gorgeous, delicious looking stuff next to me that I'm like having a hard time not just grabbing into. So let's talk about what is here in front of me and why is it here? What is this? This is from the Suburban Club, Chef Chad Stein. Mm. It is our beef tenderloin, <gasps> sliced medium rare. Um, with a creamy horseradish sauce and some oh. crispy onions. <gasps> so you guys can dig into this at some point. Um, and we may or may not have it. I'm not sure. Confirmed on the menu for Taste of Pikesville, but we will be bringing our best. What won, I forget which award it won last year, but our Thai chili salmon. Um, that is Chef Chad's own mix. It's a huge hit. Yeah. Thai is actually a misnomer. It's not spicy. Um, it's just really sweet kind of chili, and it's very delicious. So that's what we won with last year. Again, I can't remember what which award we won, um, but it I think he's one of the awards. One of the awards, okay. and I I believe he's doing something completely different this year, but I don't know what it is yet. All right, and Carlos, what have you got? We have here the traditional, the authentic, the one and only chicken chimichanga. Yum! We love a good chicken chimichanga. And uh, unfortunately, we couldn't bring the margaritas, but <laughs> we will have That's the it. margaritas. That's it. This is over. <laughs> I want my picture. <laughs> we will have the margaritas at the Taste of Pikesville on Tuesday. So. Okay. So, yeah, let's back up because I just went straight for the food because that's how I do. Uh, we're here because we're going to talk about the taste, which happens on April 9th. That's next Tuesday. Correct. And that is at the Suburban Club. Correct. Uh, is this the first time the event has been at the Suburban Club? This is the second year. Oh, okay. So we're very excited. We want to keep it going at the Suburban Club every year. And what's new or different this year that attendees can look forward to? I think there's a lot more vendors. I don't remember the exact count last year, but we have 55 this year. That's a good amount. So great variety, different food, appetizers, dinner food. Um, seafood, beef, poultry, and then drinks, of course. Yes, we gotta have the drinks. Carlos, have you guys participated before? This is actually our fifth. Oh wow! Year. Have you won in the past? Uh, we've won uh, best drink. Um, that I didn't get to have today. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so we we won that a couple <laughs> times, but yeah, this is our fifth year, and you know they've been great to us. So we're gonna continue doing it every year. It's an awesome event. Um, a lot of people I've seen growth. In those past five mm -hmm. years, we had to go with a bigger venue and everything. It was right. it, it's definitely fun and um, really really cool event. And the, you're bringing the chicken chimichanga, or you got um, a surprise up here? Well, seat? we're actually gonna bring sangria margaritas <gasps> again. Really? So <laughs> you know the chimichangas are afternoon. great, but uh, I like that. But margaritas are margaritas. <laughs> um, okay, so for those who have never attended the event, can you just sort of give a little walkthrough of what it's all about? what it entails maybe people don't really have an idea what we're talking about i think of it as sort of like a a taste a walk around uh, you know like nibbles nibbles yeah. and samples but what's this all about really so basically we have a huge ballroom for anyone who hasn't been to the suburban club it's about 95 by 65 it's a huge huge room and each vendor has a table set up so you kind of walk around the room and every couple feet there's a new food there's a new drink uh, we have a DJ we have some high top Fun. tables some really pretty linens coming in so it's kind of like a cocktail hour but there's a lot of food and you can kind of you can talk to the vendors ask them how long they've been there it's much more of um, kind of back and forth reciprocal you can actually figure out where you locate how long have you been in business right and it's a really great way to meet the people of not only taste but meet the people of Pikesville absolutely and do you find Carlos that you get like a lot of walk-ins afterwards of people who maybe had never heard of you but found you at the taste absolutely and um we've been doing it so many years in a row that it's kind of like 
we people expect us to be there. You know, it's we're part they of the community. They look for you. Yeah, they want to vote for you. Absolutely. So, um, Jessica, who is with the chamber, said that there will be a henna tattoo artist from Neha Gupta, which is that's fun. I like henna tattoos. I don't think we had that last year. See, something new, something, something new. fun. Uh, thank you, Jessica. All right, so just hang on a second. You are watching Jay Moore's Weekend Agenda on Facebook Live. Comment and share and like. We are here with Carlos Uyoa. Uyoa. I got it. You got it. <laughs> Sorry. Of Mezcal Mexican Restaurant and Felicity Carmody. It's a little easier. Yeah. <laughs> of the Suburban Club for the Taste, which takes place April 9th from 530 to 8. Correct. All right. Uh, so the participating restaurants are represented by their signature dishes. Yes. Yes. And then they're judged. Yes, yeah, so we actually have three, no, not three, I don't know why I said that, we have six awards. Okay. Um, the best, best taste, most creative, best new vendor, best presentation, best beverage, and best dessert. So we have a few mm. guest judges, and they go around uh, kind of secretly, um, and they taste everything, and then they vote, and it's a really fun competition. All the food is great, honestly. It's hard. I would, I do not envy it's them having to, to choose the best. Right. But um, yeah, so that's a fun kind of element that's added to Taste of Pikesville. And I should mention, Jay Moore's associate editor, Samantha Allen, is one of the judges this year. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you will be hanging, she'll be eating all this again. We should probably not give her any today. Like, she, right. right. Keep her palate clean. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we don't want her to like <laughs> be swayed and, you know. Of course. Right. Um, so <laughs> I'll eat her portion. That'll be fine. Uh, so can attendees attendees can also vote, right? There's a, a, a audience award or something. I believe so. I don't remember how it's broken down. That's more the chamber, um, right? <clears throat> figures all the all the voting out, but sure. Sure. <laughs> I, mean, I I would I would not be quiet about my vote. Like if I love it, you're gonna hear about it. <laughs> right. I believe every person who has a ticket gets a little. Oh, um, okay. Like coupon where they can put it in the box, and then whoever gets the most wins. Okay. For the attendee, right? Is that yeah, correct? Yeah. So adding um, adding to what she said, you you have a little box, and every person who attends has like a little coin or something, something, something oh, okay. that represents the taste of Pikesville, and then they go to their favorite station or oh, food okay. or a drink, and you say, hey, you know what? You're my favorite. Like that. And then I, I believe it gets counted and tallied up at the end of the taste and rewards are handed out. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So I, we didn't mention the other vendors besides you guys. I mean, obviously this is enough. This is all we really need. <laughs> but so Bordy Wines will be there. Gourmet again. Paleo. Mm -hmm. uh, Simply Elegant. Uh, Stanford Kitchen. Stone Mill Bakery. Lot every basically any business that's in like Pikesville owns Mills area, right? Exactly. Because why wouldn't you participate? Right. Yeah. Um. All right. So, is there anything else about the event that either one of you wants to add or talk about or tell me about? Tell the people about. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I mean, I would say last year was my first year. Um, being at the suburban, having it at the suburban suburban club, I've never been to the Taste of Pikesville previously, and it was just an overwhelming amount of food. Mm. And if you have any allergies or sensitivities, oh. a lot of vendors who are sensitive to that, and so you can ask around. It's it's really for everyone, and any sort of food um, likes. You can figure out something for you there, which so is really great. there's some vegetarian options, maybe some vegan options. Exactly. There's a lot of different options. There's a lot of different vendors. And the, everyone's really friendly. It's a fun event. Everyone's in a great mood. They're excited to share their product and talk about their company. It's a really fun night. It's a great night out in, in Pikesville and Owings Mills. And Carlos, did you have anything you wanted to add? Just, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Every year is getting bigger and bigger, and we're excited to be part of it, so we're, we're going to be there. So I do know tickets are still available, and you can get those at tasteofpikesville.com. Um, all right, that is it for us today. Be sure to t check out the taste at Suburban Club April 9th, 530 to 8. You'll see Carlos and Felicity and Jay Moore will be there. We're having a table, and Simone will be judging. Um, stop by our table, pick up a magazine, and say hi. Thank you guys both for joining us today. No You've been watching Jay Moore's Weekend Agenda. Find more events at jaymoreliving.com slash events. I will see you next week. I'm going to go eat some of this deliciousness. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.